Hey guys, well, um, I'm probably not going to be able to film a whole lot of this. Um, what I'm doing is I'm going to uh, going to sand these frame rails, and I just don't want to get the camera and all that in uh, in the dirt and all that. So we'll take a quick look at it before, and then I'll I'll film a little bit afterwards. Hey guys, I tried uh, wire wheeling this, and this scaly rust doesn't want to come off, but. I bought this Harbor Freight needle gun a while back. Some of you, uh, some of you ex Navy engineering guys, that was it's on my uh, channel. Sure, will know what one of these are, and probably spent some time in the building with one. Um, but it seems that you know, for being a Harbor Freight cheap needle gun, it seems to do a really good job on this scale. I uh, a while back, I had a, I believe it was a trailer that I was wanting to repaint the frame on. And uh, this needle gun really helped out a lot. I think if you were redoing a truck frame, um, I think it'd be a good tool for getting a truck frame and the rust off of it so you can paint it. Because there's a lot of rusty truck frames out there that guys want to redo and make them look nice. But, but here, I'll do this for a few minutes here and show you how it works and, um, and um, go from there. Bring the camera over here and uh, show you what it looks like. Does a does a heck of a job on the scale, a lot quicker than a wire wheel would. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut the camera back off and get out of here. Um, I don't want to get a bunch of dust, rusty dust in the camera. That needle gun really took all the scale off of these. Should give me a good tin plate to uh, drill to. Hey guys, well tonight I'm gonna try to get back at it. It's been a day or so. Um, had a few things going and stuff besides working on this. I uh, got a got a few things in the mail. Uh, I'll turn the camera around here and kind of take a look at what I got. What I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to try to get some of the holes marked. I'm going to tip the frame, two frame, old frame pieces up together and, and bolt them together and mark all the holes that are the same on both sides of the frame. So I'll be sure and drill them in the new frame uh, pieces. So here I'm going to turn around the camera and I'll show you some new things I got in the mail and what I'm going to be using the next uh, in this video and or the next video for drilling holes. Alright guys, well here's uh, what came in the mail yesterday. I uh, basically got on Amazon. I was going to order the high dollar ones, but I thought, well, I'll give these a try. There's some a lot of guys on, on Amazon, uh, did some reviews on them, said they're real good. I figure if you, you just keep your keep them oiled up real good. I ordered some new oil, a new deal of oil too. We'll uh, flood them with oil pretty good so and um, you can't really use the, the the actual this is my this is my mag girl I got a champion mini bird and um, you can't really use the actual feeder for the oil because we'll be drilling horizontally on some of it so so I also so I also picked up a little small oil gun here too. I'm gonna set it up for just for oil and uh, for lubrication oil on when I'm drilling so try to keep these lubricated. So we'll see how it goes. Hi right, guys I'm gonna I'm gonna use this uh, I got these two bolted together here I'm gonna match them up and I'm gonna get take this paint marker here and um, mark all the holes that actually go through and they match up both sides of the frame are exactly the same and um, that'll be a template for me to clamp the new one and I'll know which ones I can drill through but I'm going to go ahead and do this now yeah this paint marker works pretty good
if you under, ever wonder where the serial number for the truck is on the frame, it's actually marked right here. And it is only marked, it would be marked on the uh, right side, on the inside of the frame right here. It's kind of a little useful piece of information if you're looking for your, your serial number on the frame. Looks like I got all the holes marked. I'm probably gonna go ahead and turn the mic off because I'm gonna have to run the forklift and it'll be pretty loud, or turn the uh, video off and start back up when I get one of the new frame rails over here. I get these line, these clamp lined up and clamped together and then I can roll over and start uh, maybe drilling on it, get things together. What I'm going to do is try to get this one laid on top of that one. It looks like I may need to clean that up a little bit on there with the grinder. So I'll use a flapper wheel on that. What I do is clean up that end there so so it lays flat on the this other piece of frame. See if we can get this laid on top of that other one and see how everything lines up.
what we need to do is get some clamps so I want the bottom of this frame to be level so that the front horns go on there right get another one and try to get that flat.
Alright, we're going to try our luck at drilling the first hole here in this. Alright, I got the mag drill set up. Make sure everything's still... I look like we're off a little bit here. Okay, everything looks good. Looks like I'm gonna get this started here. We'll put some oil in her. All right, let's get her started up. Looks like we got her through. Let's see how I'll clean her off and see how that hole works. Yeah, from top bottom it looks good. So I'll run over here and get a dust br or a brush and brush that off. doesn't look too bad let's uh, actually let's get some spray and we'll clean that off and take a look at that hole okay, we gotta scoot this back guys I'm gonna finish up got a lot done tonight I'm going to uh, turn the camera around here in a second and kind of show you what I did I didn't want to uh, uh, sit there and film drilling holes all evening so I've just filmed a few of them and I'll turn around and show you what I got done. Um, moving along pretty good on one side of the frame rail. Now here's, here's the holes that I marked. I got those, got those all drilled, the ones that are common to both sides of the frame rails. So I have all those drilled. So I'll be able to separate that tomorrow night and um, go and um, put the other one up here and drill them holes. Mag drill really made it a lot easier. I've heard the horror stories of trying to drill frames without a mag drill, but it turned out real well tonight. Hey guys, well today, we finally got a nice day. It's all the way up to 60 out today, so I'm gonna, when I pulled that front axle and uh, leaf springs off, I found out that the, the rear, uh, the rear spring brackets are all wore out, so I'm gonna pull them off today. Means I got a nice day outside here. Pull them off and pull the 
I couldn't get the bolt separated from the front horn and the motor mount cross member, so I'm going to try to pull it off and put it in the shop, and I'll just have the springs and um, just the springs and axle out sitting outside now. I'll need that cross member and front horns when I start putting the two frame pieces together to make a square box when I start to uh, attach the, the new rails to the, the old section of frame in the back. So um, I'm going to turn around here and uh, turn the video around and kind of show you a little bit of what I'm going to work on. Like I said, this is what I'm going to be hitting on today. Um, I'm going to be taking these off. Look down real close there. They've wore both both rear spring brackets or hangers or whatever is wore past the bushings and um, I'll pull them off and get them ordered today or tonight and then this part here I couldn't pull it out and I was afraid to break it when they cast it on them so I'm going to go ahead and leave that all put together in the frame put everything back together looks like I'm going to pull shots off but other than that that's going to be about it today probably get them in there and I'll probably do some work on the frame. But that's where we're at. Hey guys, well, I was going to try to film outside uh, pulling those parts off that front axle, but uh, the uh, wind was blowing so hard that even with the shield on there, it wasn't going to block the wind out on the, sp on the microphone. So. I'm going to turn it around here and kind of show you what I found. Looks like I'll be in store for ordering some new parts in the morning. Well, here's, here's the rear brackets. I believe they were due to be replaced. Uh, somebody's already flipped them over and used them twice because the backsides of them look just as bad. And the, and the pins, pins are shot, so I'm probably going to get online. I'm, I'm just going to order everything in the morning. Um, I don't, I don't want to deal with it another day, so um, I'll uh, take the video over and show you the other pins. So Here's the other, the front pins. They're corroded too. This one isn't, looks like they've had water standing in. Probably had one pin that could be reused. This pin is corroded too. All I would end up doing is eating up the bushings. I'm order new bushings for... Just put it all back new. Guys, here's the new holes drilled in the new frame rails. Well, that mad girl really drills the holes really nice. Everything's looking real good. So now I'm going to uh, mate this up with the other frame rail. And these were the holes that are common to both frame rails, and we'll make them up. We'll make them up and drill the uh, drill the other rail, and then then I may go and cut the taper on the top. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that. There's that taper that's going to have to be cut. I may just mark it and cut it with a die grinder. Just not sure yet. Well, thanks for watching, guys. The uh, channel's going real well, gaining subscribers and everything. So people are showing interest and all, so, so that's pretty good. Um, like I said before in the earlier videos, things are going to be a little better now. I'm starting to actually, we'll start putting things together this weekend. I'm going to maybe try to uh, get the rest of the frame rails ready to uh, start cutting on the uh, rear part of the frame and getting things ready to weld together. So thanks for watching, everyone, and um, like, subscribe, share. Everything's great. Thanks.